here I am I'm <laughs> under the van and uh, I got some repairs to do uh, when I put this uh, uh, toilet in I put a computer fan with a, uh, uh, a plumbing system or a vent out of one and a half inch and typically what you want to do is uh, at the end of it you want to be able to stop critters from getting into it uh, flies and things you just don't know what it'll attract because uh, I guess to uh, some species <laughs> the smell is uh, like a uh, dinner bell going off so anyway uh, I'll show you what I got here and, and how I have um, uh, worked around this and uh, it, it took a little while to figure this out I had to look at a lot of uh, little pieces but uh, anyway what the pipe is is a one and a half inch that's where it ends and I'll show you how uh, mine uh, finished off here so anyway I'll turn you around here and have a look okay so anyway here, here's the pipe where it comes out and what I have done is I have uh, tried to figure out how to put a screen on it and usually what people do is they just use a, a large strap with uh, uh, no CM skin uh, no CM screen or something of that nature and uh, I wanted something that uh, was maybe a little more robust than that so what I came across was this product here mesh sink strainers okay and there are two of them in here and uh, yeah two sizes and uh, I, I forget what the sizes are but anyway what, what's important here is that if you take a, uh, a reducer from uh, one and a half to two inches like this right here to put on the end of it the one and a half and the two inch just happens to allow the one strainer to be uh, glued into it so now that's gonna it, it's it looks like it's gonna be turbocharged here when I uh, finally get this on here but now the problem that I've run into is I can't get it in because the uh, the uh, hanger for the uh, uh, sway bar is in the way so I have to uh, reduce this pipe and then I'll just uh, make sure that all the edges are, are uh, all the edges along here are cleaned up so I can slide this on and then uh, what I'll use is a mechanical fastener I'll just put a screw in uh, along this uh, area so that it can be uh, taken off if necessary because uh, just the friction fit would be fine for what I'm doing here but uh, uh, obviously you want it from uh, not rattle off eh? so anyway I'm gonna cut this off uh, I only need enough in here to uh, I guess you know like that eh? so I could probably cut about uh, that much off and not have a problem and then uh, yeah I, I basically want to clear the end or the edge of that before I slide it on so anyway that's what we're doing today Okay, just about done. So what I've done is I've uh, sanded this all down nice and smooth so I can get that uh, flange on there uh, as far as I can. And if you can see right here, I drilled a pilot hole. And what I also did was I uh, I scored both, both pieces here because if in the future I have to take this off, uh, I won't have to look for uh, where the hole is. It's all on the same line. I've indexed the hole. So now it's just a matter of putting the screw in and uh, Hopefully that will finish up this little project. So anyway, let's see if we can do this without messing things up too badly. There we go. All done. One turbocharger for a toilet. That should keep the critters out. So anyway, hopefully it works. 
Okay, now I don't know if you this is gonna show on video, but uh, if you look around this back tire and just take uh, notice, there's a lot of house flies. So now when I put that uh, that filter on the uh, or the strainer, that sink strainer on the back of my uh, uh, pipe for my uh, exhaust for the uh, toilet, this is why all these flies would be trying to get up and into that uh, area because, of course, it, it's like a dinner bell when they uh, have that smell coming. So, uh, anyway, they, they would be looking somewhere to lay eggs. So, uh, yeah, th this keeps them out. So, uh, I hope that this actually shows it and what the purpose uh, ultimately is. So, anyway, check it out.